has life pranked you and your motor has a miss or something's going on I'm not laughing are you all right let's talk about what is going on with this this thing counting the uh, I drive down the road this started this year first time I went for a ride just driving on the road after about two minute warm up whatever and the bike started it was running fine it was running good but then all of a sudden it, it like kicked forward like and it started running even better like it felt like it was running better but then it would kick out and it would kick in and it did this a few times like when it did kick in it felt like it was running better than it was running and then I don't know it just would it went away after the bike warmed up the bike seemed like it was running fine so I was like all right maybe it's just sitting and it just needed uh the motor needed to wake up I don't know so I came back that was the day I did the oil change now I did the oil change and then the next day I took it to the store and it did it again. After like a minute of, you know, I let it warm up for a few minutes, started driving on the road. It would kick in, like jerk, and kick out, you know, like four or five times again. And then as the bike warmed up, it went away. I'm like, what the hell? So then, what did I do then? Oh, I did the, uh, the breather let's talk about this I just did a video I did the breather and I noticed that my exhaust was r completely rotted rusted check this out look at this Baker Brothers right it's all rusted and I'm like seriously they've only been on a year and this is a uh, Cobra, Cobra um, Power Duels. They got that cross right here. Let's see, hold on. And the Power Duel thing. Well, I got these first. And I didn't like, they didn't sound right. I didn't like them. So I took these off. This is a 2019 Road Glide. These were only on for like three months. Took them off, put the other ones on. And I love the sound. I mean, I loved it, but it was it was a, it was all right. The Baker Brothers sounded good, but the slip on I don't know, I didn't like the slip ons, I guess. So these these came with the, the Baker Brother slip ons. So I ended up taking out the inserts, and all all you're left with basically is a hollow pipe, and that I don't know. That just didn't sound good. It just sounded, I don't know, it didn't even sound like a Harley. It sounded like loud, if not just crap. So I went back to the megaphone, four inch megaphones. And these, they sounded good. They sounded they have a deep rumble. And with the Baker Brothers True Duels, I mean, they, they popped pretty good. It ripped pretty good. I mean, it, it sounded good. So then, Messing with the Manson Hines tuner and running the bike rich so many times and trying to get it to where I like the sound and how I like to feel. I think because of the doing the tuner, I ended up following out the plugs, which didn't happen until this year. So yeah, I don't get it. I'm hoping changing these plugs is my problem. So I, I ended up putting the Cobras back on. You can see the pipe here. I mean, these pipes, they didn't, I don't know. I had them on for like three months, took them off. They've been sitting and there's not a speck of rust on them. But they're super quiet. But the low end torque is, oh, noticeably different. Low end torque and mid range totally more powerful but yet yeah, super quiet and i got these 
I thought, man, these look nice. You know, these would go on and super powerful. Look at that. Small chamber into a larger chamber. But man, it sounds like stock exhaust. This setup right here is quieter than stock exhaust. You know, I I just can't win. So let's change out these plugs. Maybe I could pull the inserts out of here. I don't know. I just life's been pranking the hell out of me lately. And I think because I tried to tune so many times with different exhaust, and especially with the uh, the bigger brothers, I really think I uh, flooded it or something or got too much fuel on the plugs. I get the stupid camera set right. All right, let's see if we can, how I can do this. This is what I, because uh, these were so scuffed up from sitting around because I, I didn't plan on doing nothing with them. So I cleaned them up and I resprayed them with this. Yeah, they look good. Stole that from Vice Grip Garage. <laughs> so yeah, this stuff works good. So, depending on if I put some older ones back on, slip-ons, I might just spray those too. Or if I pull the insert out of there and it sounds good, I don't know. I don't know. So I stuck a can in there. I, I really don't want to take the tank off if I don't have to. I'm hoping I don't have to. I'm hoping I don't scratch nothing. I'm hoping a lot of things right now. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna get that out of there without causing damage. Shoot. Hold on. How not to change spark plugs, right? By, by doing this for no reason and I can't even get the wrench in there. Or I'm wrecking my boot, one or the other. Oh, okay, got it. See if I can get something in there. I'm gonna grab the news plugs, see what size I need, huh? Well, it looks like 5 8 is the winner. What, is there shit down in there? What is down in there? What the hell? Do we need that? No, no, we don't. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy here. I don't want to scratch nothing. Probably should take the tank off. I really don't want to. What? That wasn't even tight. I was ready to freaking give her everything I had. I was just about to give her every inch of power I have. That's not a good thing either. This thing has 2,000 miles on it. You know, I took it in to get service and I swear they, they just kicked the tires and gave it back to me. I, unreal. Yeah, I'm hoping these plugs are the problem. Wow, really? It's not even that old, you know? Ay, ay, ay. Moving on, hold on. All right, so CR10 cometh out. And we are going to go with Iridium CR9 EIX. This is what? The guy told me, he said, don't worry about gapping, like, they're already pre-gapped. So, yeah. More power, yeah. 
Unreal. This don't even look like it was. I don't know. I just don't know. That's where I'm at. I just don't know. Nice, nice and easy here. I'm gonna do it by hand, and then we're gonna crank the shit out of it. Just kidding. Just kidding. Feels good. Feels like it's going in. Oh yeah, she likes that. Yeah, so <clears throat> I uh I did that. Hold on. I did that auto tune with the Bigger Brothers True Duels and the bike did not run well at all for like 15 minutes like I had to let it warm up and then it I could tell it was running super rich and then it took like a half an hour for it to kind of calm down compared to when I did the these uh Cobras I did the, yeah, what the hell am I talking about? Auto-tune? I mean, I did auto-tune so many times that I had to have wrecked the plugs running so rich. I mean, the bike's got 2,000 miles on it. it. I don't know. Something's going on. We're just going to... Oh, it's getting tighter, getting tighter, getting tighter, getting tighter, at least tight to where the clamp clamps down, you know. All right, I think we almost got one done. I'm doing the hard ones first, so I, so I know if I gotta pull the tape off or not, waste my time, you know. Is that supposed to be sticking out like that? I don't think that's right. Maybe it's because I, man, I don't think that's right. That's supposed to be up, isn't there? Let's look at the other one first and see, because, yeah, I don't think that's right. What's up with that? That might be the problem, too. Let's go to the front. This one, I'm just, I'm going to manhandle it. <clears throat> Ooh, she popped. I heard it pop. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at that, huh? That one's on the inside. Yeah. And I wasn't pulling on the other wire. So that, that definitely was not right. Yeah. See? See, Harley? The shit they do, I tell you. Take your bike in and they kick the tires and give it back to you. ay 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 Can I get that in there? Am I going to have to double piece this? Am I going to get my socket back out? ay ay how not to change your spark plugs, guys? Can I get my socket on there? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can do it this way. Hmm. Let's try. Ooh, let's try my swivel. It's a little shorter. Let's try this bad boy. If I can get that started on there, I guess, right? people buy snap on all right let's pull that out if I can if I can't boy I'm gonna do these first drive myself crazy right all right it's got that rubber boot on there that's why there it goes there it goes come on should I drop the tank back down? I think that would help. Can I scoot past the tank here? No? Okay. Can I get that socket off of there? Now that's out. I wreck my tank. I don't advise doing it this way. I just don't. I just don't advise it. Take your tank off. I just don't like to do stuff the right way. Look at that, huh? I got that on there. Because I don't like to do stuff the right way. You know, you know the spark plug's not tight anyways. You know that. 
Oh, look at yeah. I'm so glad I paid four hundred dollars for Harley to kick my tires and give it back to me. Yeah, we kicked the tires and changed the oil, all right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for all your hard work. Four hundred dollars later, I gotta fix my freaking spark plug boot. Excited to see how this one looks. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. This one doesn't want to come out. Don't worry about don't worry about the sparkles being in there super tight or nothing. Mm. Here we go, here we go. Let's get this out of here. Just got a finesse. Yeah, yeah, the thing should have came off. Yeah, a lot of things should have happened in life. You just don't do it. If I can get this one done, number no number no golden, because the other side's easy. I think on the stock uh, spark plugs, they say uh, 31, the gap. These they said don't don't touch the gap. I hope they're right because I don't want to do this again. Oh yeah 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 I should stop the video. No. I don't know how to get the other one back in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I yell at it a few times. Could it be any longer? Oh. I think we're out. I think we're out. Can I get the spot? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And how's it look? Man, that doesn't look like hell. That doesn't look like much of a gap. That doesn't look like much of a gap if you ask me. Huh, let's see the other one. Let's compare the gap. Oh, wow. Look at the, can I get in the picture at least? Where, where, where am I here? And where's the stupid camera? Okay, look at the gap difference. I'm telling you, Harley, they, they focus, they, they give it a good kick, and they give it back to you. Nice gap difference, Harley. One's got that 10 thousandths, the other one's got that 20 thousandths, or 30 thousandths. Man, the gap on these are just like... I wish it said focus. I got my stand in the way, so it's hard to see. I mean, the gap on here is like uh, minute. Let me look at another one. Let me just make sure that all the gaps are look the same. That looks super, super tiny, yeah? That one looks the same. These gaps are stupid, man. Can you focus, please? Please? I mean, there's barely a gap there. Like, barely. These better be right. These better be right, you sons of bitches. All right, let's get it back in. Let's get it back in. This video's gonna be two hours long. Mm. Definitely don't want to drop the plug down there and wreck the gap even more. Oh man. Okay. Oh, it's going in. Nice. Very nice. I'm gonna put a cam in here soon. I just I need to 
I don't want to put a cam in here when the bike's having issues because then I don't know, is it because I put the cam in? Did I do something wrong? Is there something else going on? Ugh. I need I need it to be right. So if it's not right, then I know what's right or not right. Oh, I think we're going. I think it's. I think she's going in. It's a mile long. Oh, oh, we're getting tighter. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay. Definitely want to be careful not to break the damn spark plug. Okay. I think we're done. Now, this boot, it looks like it's in there half an inch, almost three quarters of an inch up inside the boot. I mean, that looks right to me. That seems right to me. Let's make sure we get this on. On the spark plug, I'm gonna hear a click. Ooh, did you hear that click? Nice. Nice. Okay, I wanna fix this something. Because this is no, oh, we know this ain't right. We know this ain't right. There we go. All right. No. Oh. Okay. Hopefully that's that looks good. I mean, I didn't pull on this wire, so that was that was like that. I think this one I can almost see. Oh, there you are. There you are. Ooh, you hear that click? You want to hear that click? That's a good sound. And then the camera falls over. All right, let's go to the other side. The easy side. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Was that so easy? All right, I wasn't sure if that was recording. Let's pop this one off. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Gee, oh my lord, really? You took, took these out by hand. Ah, look at that. What a joke. All right, we should uh, be done quick here now. Now we're moving right along. Easy side. You know, I mean, those don't look it looks like it was running lean, if anything. I mean, I'm not, I mean, look at that gap. I mean, I, that, that gap is, that don't look like no 30 thousandths. Hmm, pretty. Let me look at that, make sure there's a gap there. Man, that's a, Man, there's a small gap on these. Like, it's a small gap. He said, don't, you know, they're set, they're preset. Don't mess with them. I'm like, okay. But damn. There definitely, definitely no gap there. I wonder, because that spark was over there. I wonder if that was arcing or something. Maybe that was my issue. I don't know. I hope so. Cause I'm not really seeing like these plugs being followed out. They're not looking horrible to me. 
I've seen horrible plugs and other than every one of them is gap drawn different it's I mean, that one actually looks gapped right don't look horrible the other ones are rusted these aren't too bad like, look at can you see that I mean, there's barely barely a gap in there Either she's gonna run like a champ. Well, I got some uh, carpenter, so I'm gonna put these in. I got some Lucas stuff or whatever it is, and put it onto the gas station, fill her up, and put that in there. If it runs normal, hopefully, then I fix the problem. If not, then I'll put some Lucas in there, and hopefully that will. If it's an injector or something going on, see that's you feel like it tight, you know. Feel that spark plug lock right there. You feel it lock in. Who wants to hear a snap? I know I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't really hear a snap. There we go. Okay, let me put this back down, put it back together. We'll fire it up. So basically, I took out that bolt and this one. Tight. I'll put the seat back on. Actually, I want to run it, make sure it's cool before I put it back together. <laughs> on now but normally it's on when I was running in my ABS light I've been having issues with that that was my next project was why is my ABS light on and that's gone too and I don't the bike runs great no miss no nothing it runs awesome so I filled it up 93 octane I put a half bottle of this in there yeah I I don't know I don't know what's going on here but it ran great it's Runs beautiful. No miss, no weirdness. All my weird lights on the dash are gone. I don't know. Don't ask me. Next thing, we gotta fix this exhaust. I'm gonna pull those baffles out. Please like and subscribe. I hope you learned something. I think I did. I don't know. See you later.